described, big game. All, all the games are big, obviously, this weekend. And one of them is Philadelphia with Jalen Hurts leading the way at quarterback. And the New York Giants, the surprising New York Giants, who were just 4-13 and 13 a year ago, Rob. Uh, congrats to them just getting this far. But Daniel Jones, their quarterback, was fantastic last week in their victory at Minnesota. Uh, ran, had two touchdowns, ran for almost 80 yards. And threw for three hundred plus. He was so uh, good, really that Gre- good that Greg Jennings put him in the Hall of Fame after that performance. Greg, Greg, Greg Jennings called him a top ten quarterback, which we both think we is cannot, ludicrous. It's ridiculous. We love Greg, but Greg it was on the pipe or something. Greg's Greg been regretting Jennings. that ever since it came out of his I, mouth. He, now he's just defended it. I, 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 he hadn't told me that, but that's right. what I think. Yeah, I mean, um, he did sound defensive because he yeah, realized. He just, he, he, no. Because when you named, like, when you, you started naming the quarterbacks. from all over the right. quarters. Yeah. Right. I mean, and I'm not, even if you said top 15, but you say top 10, top. you didn't give yourself any, like, wiggle room. Right. There's so many great quarterbacks right. in the league. And then to say that, and you came up with about 14, and you didn't just even, the top and you didn't right. even didn't mention even... Rodgers or uh, Brady. Dak. Right, or right, Dak. absolutely. Those three, I you did didn't not. even mention those three. I did not, but you'd have to put Rodgers ahead of him. And Brady right now. Right. I mean, I, I'm sure teams would rather have them. Um, but, Rob, Saquon Barkley also, I get it, a teammate. He was actually asked, is he elite? So what's he supposed to say? So he did say he's elite. Right. But, I, Rob, I'm going to let you go, and, and I'll jump off, jump on after you. But just let me ask you this. Um, has Daniel Jones shown that he's elite? Uh, no. And I don't think the Giants think he's elite. That's why they haven't signed him. Chris, to an extension. Because, Let me ask you this Because of the then. question. Go ahead. Can he, if he has a great game this weekend and they win. No, he's still not elite. Is he elite? Okay. No. He's not in that. It's about consistency. It's not about having a nice run. We've seen quarterbacks, Chris, have runs, right? Heck, Nick Foles. Nick Foles Joe won Flacco. a Super Bowl. And right. Nick Foles had made every throw in that Super Bowl, Chris. He played great. Played great you throughout those playoffs. Am I right? You can't play any better than that. Right. And then they gave him the keys to the car, right? Oh, yeah, he could be starting quarterback again. And he crashed the car. Like, like it's about – Joe Flacco, Rob. Right. He, he was a good starter, but he had an was unbelievable superb run. in that run. And he, he's not in the league. He never was in the league. Quarterback. No. And, and this is where, where I think people get caught up in the moment. Daniel Jones played great. He took advantage of a bad Vikings defense. I'm not right. mad at him. But you can't have three, your only three 300 yard games against two of the worst defenses, right. the Lions and the Vikings. I'm st- right. that, that, that's not going to work. We'll see. And the Giants uh, took a wait and see approach, Chris, for a reason because they weren't sure about him. Nobody was sure. And don't tell me this year, even when they were winning, Saquon Barkley was a big part of running the football, Chris. Right. And the right. Giants, that's what tilted the scale. Remember, he was he's been hurt the last year and a half or whatever it's been. And now when he came back and was a man amongst boys, and then you add that that you had to you had to defend the run, which opened up the pass for Daniel Jones. Absolutely. And and, and, and Rob. Open as open as it was, it wasn't that big. He had fifteen right, right. touchdowns in, in sixteen in seven, games. In sixteen game, right? Like, yeah, I mean, it's like you know crazy. what I'm saying. I don't know if he played sixteen or seventeen, but at least sixteen, like fifteen touchdowns. So let's not act like he was lighting it up. But Brian Dayball was smart, has done a great job this year, and he did a great job, Rob, uh, keeping him. He he certainly helped him stop turning it over because he had fumbleitis. So that's good. I was wondering he, if he had any thumbs because he couldn't hold on to the ball. <laughs> He poured into what he does well and took away the things he doesn't do well, and they don't run that type of stuff for the most part. But I, I, I'm going to say this, Rob. Like, let's say Jones goes out. I, I don't think they're going to beat Philadelphia. I got Philly. But let's say he goes out and plays great in a loss or great in a win. He's still not elite yet. I don't think he'll ever be elite. He may one day prove to be a franchise quarterback, and I think, Rob, that's what is happening What you see right now is he is proving to people that, hey, he might be able to be a franchise quarterback. He hasn't solidified it yet, but he's showing you that, you know what, he might be because, Rob, here's the deal. He has had, he's been in the league four years. This is his fourth year. He's had three head coaches. 
He's had four offensive coordinator. One of them was Freddie Kitchens. So he has, I mean, I think what people can do with him playing well now, and remember, he had a good rookie season, 24 touchdowns, 12 interceptions, threw for about 230 yards a game. Then he had two bad seasons. And in this season, he's, he's been solid. So I think what you, if you're sober, you look at him sober-minded, you look at him and you say, okay, maybe it's the fact that there's been so much upheaval, right? He's had all these different coordinators. He's had all these different coaches. Give him some stability, and maybe he can do something because he has had two good seasons. That's what he's showing right now, and he's showing, look, he is a, a high-level athlete, you know, running the football. Rob, if he was black, I'm going to be keep it real, he'd get a lot more credit as a runner. He ran for more yards than Josh Allen this year. Mm. So I think, you know, he's got some strengths. He obviously, I mean, he, he went in there last week and wasn't nervous, wasn't, the moment wasn't too big in Minnesota, so I give him credit for that. So, like I said, what he's doing, Rob, is showing you, you know what? He might have the goods, but it certainly isn't written in stone yet. No, and I think anybody to say that is just jumping the gun, and I get it. You know, it's a it's a reaction. If somebody plays well, like, like you know, Dak played really well. People were down on Dak. He made, he made, he played well. Again, well, let's against, not put him in the Hall of Fame. Exactly, <laughs> and again against a bad team, right? Let, let's just be honest. When you their Chris, defense is the best part of them, but but yeah, they're, I mean, they're a you're bad not team, a, a right? Good team, right? Oh. And 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 so that's all I'm saying is you, you got to be careful not to jump the gun. And it's about when you talk about that, it's about consistency, doing it over a stretch of time where you look and say, man, this guy always gives you a chance, you know. Right. And and that that's what you're talking about when you're talking about elite. Uh, is is when you go into a game and you got that guy behind center, Chris, you got a chance. You might not win every game, but you got a chance. Other team quarterbacks come in, we got no shot, okay? We got no shot no. tonight. And there's only a handful of guys that right. are Right, only a handful. I, I don't think he'll ever get to that level, Rob. But I think he could prove to be maybe a franchise, you know, starter, like for, for several years. But no, I, I don't think he'll ever be elite. Uh, and that's not insulting. I mean, that's – I think that's a fair thing. I mean, he's lucky. It, before this season, Rob, people were thinking he's not even a starter. You know, so um, he's he's done well by himself with Brian Dayball and this team this year. So – 